Ambrose. Good morning, George. How's, uh, how's, how's business? It's the middle of winter on Martha's Vineyard, George. You haven't had a customer in days. <laughs> Admit it, this bookstore thing is a hobby. <laughs> it's my business, and I, I think I figured out a way of, uh, of goosing sales. I uh, printed up these uh, flyers last night, pass them out with, uh, with every sale. <clears throat> Crazy George did it again. He bought too many books. Now he's passing the savings onto you. you. See, I, I dropped the, the G's in, in, in passing and savings. It kind of gives it a more, you know, more folksy feel. <laughs> You know, I, actually, it sounded better in, in the middle of the night when, 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 I, when I wrote it. Today is the day an appointment with our doctor for our first ultrasound. Tonight we will have a video of the baby. What? How can I do that? With a sound wave machine. They bounce sound off the fetus and then you have a picture of the baby. Oh, the poor little thing. Lying there in its own environment. So quiet, huh? Trying to mind its own business and these sound waves come bombarding it all over and over and over again. How do you think that feels? You get used to it. <laughs> well, I'm off. Uh, uh, Ted, you'll... Uh... Come by the house with, with the eggnog at 7 o'clock, right? for the tenth time, I'll be there by 7. And, and, and the cookies. Yeah, and the cookies. What's going on? Oh, the uh, Edgar Town Conservancy Historic House Tour happens tonight, and uh, oh. my house happens to be one of the stops. They're having a contest, and the winner gets a, a blue ribbon. And tonight, she will be mine. <laughs> you, know, Dad, you say that every year, and every year, Mrs. Johnson across the street takes it, and you sit around the house moping for weeks. He's sort of the Susan Lucci of the historic house tour. Ted, I, I, don't, I don't take it that seriously. It's, it's more about the fun of people coming through the house and, and sharing a, a piece of history. It has nothing to do with uh, wiping the smug smile off that old bat's face. <laughs> oh, uh, Ambrose, I'm going to be leaving early tonight. I have to get the uh, house ready for the tour. Oh, terrific. So we'll be closing up early. No, I'll, I'll be leaving early. You'll be staying till the usual, the usual closing time. Yes, rest assured. You know, Ambrose, I wish you could lie more convincingly. George, I couldn't lie to you. I respect you too much for that. Oh. There, how was that? Hello, George. Oh, hi. Hi, Mrs. Johnson. Nice to see you again. Well, it, it's always nice to see you. George, I just came by because I want to wish you the best of luck tonight. Well, I want to wish the best to you, too. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, George, I, I hope you win tonight. There's just no more space on my mantle for any more blue ribbons. <laughs> really, I always thought you had the biggest mantle in town. <laughs> What, uh, what, what are you carrying there? Oh, this? Uh, th this is my costume for tonight. <laughs> so you're, uh, you're doing uh, costumes this year? Yes, <laughs> something new. What do you know? You just keep topping yourself year after year. Oh, that is so nice of you to say, George. Mm. <laughs> One doesn't expect such graciousness from a newcomer to the island. <laughs> M uh, Mrs. Johnson, I've lived on the island for six years now. And I've been coming down here every summer for the past 40. Exactly. A newcomer. <laughs> well, toodles. Oh, and uh, once again, best of luck tonight, George. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll be taking you down, you old bitch. <laughs> Dad, the tour's going to start any minute. Don't you want to get in costume? <laughs> Look, if Johnson is in costume, I'm in costume. I'm portraying the original owner of this house, Captain Jeremiah Hayes. I can't believe you're going to parade around the house in that ridiculous getup. It's not just me. I have something Johnson doesn't have. Cass? <laughs> Cass? 
And who do we have here? I'm the first mate. The first Jewish mate. And I'm the captain's son. Apparently, he visited a great many ports. All right, here, here are your scripts. Oh, Ambrose, where's your parrot? Well, I thought it was a bit much, George. Look, put the parrot on or I'm not paying you the 15 bucks. You know the saddest thing about this exchange? I'm going to put it on. Arg, ship your harpoons and board me land quarters. Ship your harpoons? I feel it works. <laughs> but George, honey, you know, we're very happy to do this for you, but aren't you going to look crazy here? Look, look, it's very important to me, Leo. My sword. Does anyone know where I stuck my sword? Yeah, I have a good idea. <laughs> I, I'm sorry about Dad, Leo. We go through this every year. He gets a little intense around house tour time. Has he ever won? No. Yeah, well, if you permit me, I think I know why, huh? He's too uptight. You have to be relaxed to be at your best, you know? Hey, you know what? We ought to spike this eggnog. No, that is not a good idea. Dad's not too good with the booze. Stuff goes right to his head. No, 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 come on, come on. A little won't hurt him. No, you know, I was in show business for years. And I remember once I had this crucial make-or-break audition. Now, I was a nervous wreck. So what did I do, huh? I went to the bar, had a couple of shots. Just to take the edge off. Did you get the part? I have no idea. <laughs> now, look, be careful with that. Only use a half a cup. Half a cup? Half That's a cup. Right. You got it. Half a now, cup. I gotta go. Good luck. Dad! Break a peg leg. <laughs> How much is half a cup again? Oh. Oh, probably about that much. <laughs> Leo, would you, would you make sure the uh, lanterns are on outside? Sure. So it's come to this. There is only one way I'm going to get through this evening. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. What's that? Polly wants some more? Well, 20 minutes to our first tour. It's almost... Showtime, fellas. You know, I, I know I've been a, a pain in the butt tonight, and I, and I really I appreciate your help. Uh, and in the in the spirit of the season, I think I think maybe I ought to add some rum to the uh, <laughs> to the eggnog. Not a lot, just like a oh, like half a cup. <laughs> That's half a cup. <laughs> Yeah, uh, why? Oh, nothing. I've always been fascinated by weights and measures. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna make it a quarter of a cup. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't want to get silly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good thing. All right. To us and to my first blue ribbon. That's not looking like jackasses. I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> Yeah, she sure is. You know, what, what we can make out anyway. A little hard to tell what's what on these ultrasounds. Ted? Yeah? <clears throat> honey, be honest. Are you disappointed that we're not having a boy? No, honey, not at all. I mean, you know, I guess there's, there's something special about having a boy. You know, I was looking forward to teaching him some, some father-son things, mm -hmm. you know. How to cook, how to make pastry dough. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, doesn't she look gorgeous? You know, to tell you the truth, honey, it's a little hard to tell. I mean, she's just some big fuzzy blob. Oh, come on. She's perfect. Oh, I wonder if she's going to look more like her mommy or her daddy. Honey, who do you think she looks like? <laughs> Casper. <laughs> I'm Captain Hayes. Ship your har harpoons. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I'll try again. Ship your 
harpoons. <laughs> there, I, d I did it. <laughs> come on, come on in. We're not eating outside. Come on. <laughs> This uh, this concludes our tour. Uh, all all ashore that are that are going ashore. Good show, good show, good show. <laughs> okay, okay, notes. Um, Ambrose, you've got to pick up the pace. And Leo, you've got to get away from the knock and actually conduct a tour. Hey, you know what, George? Cram it. <laughs> Come in. George? Oh. Oh, you came the back way. <laughs> uh, George, is, uh, is everything okay? Sure. Well, I'm on the next tour, and I've been hearing some disturbing things about your behavior, and uh, frankly, George, as your pastor, I'm a little concerned. Sounds like a man who, who could use some nog. Follow <laughs> him. Get it together, ladies. Another tour. Let's have some more nog, and then we will give these people a ride. <laughs> How did, how did you enjoy your tour, your tour of, the, of the poop deck? There wasn't a lot of information given out, and your first mate grabbed my wife and tried to dance with her. Leo, stop that! Maybe we should skip the rest of the tour and just move on to Mrs. Johnson's house. Well, maybe you should, because we just kill and eat the likes of you. Because we're, we're cannibal pirates. Hey, hey! You know, I think I may just hang the blue ribbon on the door so that she can see it every freaking day. <laughs> you know, I was a little concerned at first, but I can see now that this is the perfect Christmas gathering. We got a black guy, a Jewish guy, a couple of Catholic guys, all brought together by one foot stomping, knee walking, Bowl of eggnog. <laughs> did, did you drop the, the G's, you know, to make it more folksy? <laughs> I'll tell you guys something about Christmas. There's a theory that Jesus wasn't even born in December. He was born closer to August. Merry August. Yeah. Merry August. <laughs> I'll tell you something else. I don't know why all those paintings make Jesus look like a guy from Norway. Truth is, he was olive skin from the Middle East. Probably looked like the guy who works at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> hey, I got my sermon for tomorrow. Oh, thank heaven for the guy at 7-Eleven. This is some kick-ass no. <laughs> Just a second. We're all naked. <laughs> You, you are a brilliantly funny man. Jesus, the cops! George, I got a lot of calls about drunk and disorderly behavior here. Well, I think I can see what the problem is. Is there alcohol in that eggnog? No. No. Well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to check it out. <laughs> Secure my sidearm, please. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, just look at what we did. It all started with a romantic dinner, candlelight. Mm. Mm, maybe just a little too much wine, mister. Mm. And now, she's got her own show. <laughs> I think that we're going to be great parents. Yeah. 
And, you know, we're lucky. We have two great built-in babysitters. Uh, well, no one's more responsible than my dad. Yeah, and you know what? In the last few months, Leo has really turned over a new leaf. Yeah. You know, I'm proud of the way he's cleaned up his act. All right, mix it in my mouth. Mix it in my mouth. Go, 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 go. Ah! I'll tell you something. This nog is special. <laughs> Deputy Zajac, 211 in progress, Old North Road. Please move up. <laughs> Yep. Special, special knock. <laughs> We're naked! <laughs> he gets me every time. <laughs> oh, let the party begin to Chixie here. George, I just thought I would drop by and show you something. What, your mantle? <laughs> went to me once again just so you know you have to get up a little earlier in the morning if you want to take down this old bitch <laughs> I have a bell tone well <clears throat> I lost again I am the I am the Chicago Cubs of historic house tours. <laughs> you know, George, maybe it did get a little out of hand with the eggnog and all. I, I put a quarter of a cup of rum in there. <laughs> well, you know, George, there's a little bit more than a quarter cup in there. <laughs> how, mu how much more? Oh, a cup, two cups, who's counting? A bottle. <laughs> Why did, why did you do that? George, you know, I, yeah, you, you, you were so uptight. I just wanted you to relax a little bit. You know, do your favor. That's, see, that's what you've done since you got here. Favors. You, you have disrupted, meddled in, and destroyed my life. I'm going to do something I should have done a long time ago. I'm going to send you on a flight to Boston. No, no, no. Hey, 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 oh, hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Oh, uh, he lost the blue ribbon, so now he's acting nuts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, how does a brawl break out in a room with a priest and a cop? Wait a minute. I think I know this joke. <laughs> I'll make coffee. Please, uh, just listen, let's calm down. Let's go over here and sit down, please. Yeah, all right, all come right. on, come all on. Right, all right, all right. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> you too, huh? Leo? Yeah. You know, I come over here to show you guys a tape of the ultrasound. Very, very good. It should be a pretty nice moment for a couple of guys who are about to become grandparents. And what do I find? The two of you drunk and at each other's throats. Well, you have pictures of the baby? Yes, I do. We missed the birth. <laughs> no, it's, it's the ultrasound, Dad, from in the womb. Oh. Just sit there and... Do not attack each other. I will show you your grandchild here. <clears throat> oh. That, that's Larry King. <laughs> Thank God. There. Oh, wow. What, 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 is that his head? No, it's, it's her head. Ooh, a granddaughter. That's just what I wanted. We've, ne we've never had a baby girl in the family. Oh, no, George, it's the best. It's the best. Well, my old friend, huh? We have a granddaughter. Eh? Listen, George, I'm, I'm really very sorry about the um, blue ribbon and the uh, eggnog. I'm... Uh, I'm... S I'm sorry, Leo, that, that I kicked your ass. <laughs> But to tell you the truth, you have brought something to this island. Something to me that is more important than any blue ribbon. Friendship. Brill brilliant humor. <laughs> Warmth. Openness. 
You you brought me out of my shell. You you cracked me open like like a clam. <laughs> and you know what? You found a pearl. <laughs> My turn. George, you have brought this cat a stableness which, quite frankly, might have been lacking in the past. And when it comes, when it comes to responsibility and family, you, George Studi, are Sinatra. <laughs> Damn it, don't do this to me! Good morning. <clears throat> you have to excuse me, I have a little touch of the flu. <laughs> I wrote today's sermon last night during a moment of inspiration. And it truly reflects the meaning of this holiday season. You know, I think I should just wing this one. 